Welcome to My Bariatric Solutions Surgery Overview. You will learn about medications, pre and post-op surgery care, incisional care, post-op diet, and the importance of follow-up appointments after surgery. Thank you for choosing My Bariatric Solutions for your weight management care. We are here to help you through the entirety of your weight loss journey. To quote Dr. Smith, this is a marathon, not a sprint. At your pre-op appointment, you will receive an envelope that contains the following. A lab order for each follow-up appointment for the first year after surgery. You may choose to have your labs drawn at your primary care or any lab clinic such as Quest Diagnostics. Please have these done 10 to 14 days prior to your follow-up appointment. This guarantees that we will be able to discuss your results at your appointment. It is critical for long-term health that lab work be completed and discussed with each patient. A meal card will be provided to you so that you may order reduced portion entrees or kids' meals at restaurants. A hydration reminder card will provide quick reference for staying hydrated and what to do if you experience mild or severe dehydration. Online support groups are conducted every other month starting in February each year. Reminders are emailed via our monthly newsletters. Each patient is required to have a driver over the age of 18 and with a valid driver's license to bring them to the pre-op clinic appointment, EGD, and day of surgery. Rideshare services or taxi services will not be approved and may result in the cancellation or rescheduling of your surgery. You may not drive or return to work immediately after your EGD or bariatric surgery as you will have had IV anesthesia medications and or other narcotics. Once your surgery is scheduled, we will call in the required medications to the pharmacy we have on file for you. If you do not pick up the medications within a certain time frame, they may be restocked. The pain medication you receive will be called into the hospital pharmacy on the day of your pre-op appointment. You will start taking specific medications before surgery. Gabapentin helps with reducing post-op internal pain that we cannot use local anesthetic on. You will take this the night before your bariatric procedure. Zofran will be used as needed for nausea once you are home from surgery. Prilosec is taken every morning for the first six months post-op to help protect the lining of the stomach and prevents ulcers and acid reflux. This will allow proper healing of your stomach. Ultram is used as needed for post-op pain once discharged from the hospital. Emend is a strong anti-emetic used to help prevent and or reduce nausea and vomiting. This will be discussed in detail at the time of your pre-op appointment. You will resume your home medications at discharge as instructed by your medical team. The appropriate medication will be called into the hospital pharmacy to ensure our patients receive their medication. It will not be called into your local pharmacy due to national shortages. Our pharmacy will honor good RX coupons for discounted rates. It is crucial to stay hydrated before surgery and consume at least 100 ounces of hydrating fluids during your pre-op liquid diet. This will aid in your recovery, prevent urinary tract infections and kidney stones, and make it easier for hospital staff to start your IV. The more hydrated you are, the easier it will be to find a vein and place the IV. There will be four to five laparoscopic incisions where the trocars are inserted during surgery. There will be no staples, drains, or stitches visible that will need to be removed later. All incisions are sealed using a medical grade glue. Our main job is to keep you safe and keep your pain under control so that you can do your part during recovery. Your main job coming out of surgery is to walk, 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 and drink, drink, drink. Our surgeons utilize a pain control method known as a tap block. They inject an anesthetic called Expirel and block the pain at your incision sites. 
This drug continues to provide pain relief over 96 hours. You will be asked to wear a wristband for that duration of time that indicates you have been administered the medication in case you need to seek medical care for any reason. A provider will go into more detail at the pre-op appointment regarding this medication. Toradol will be used in the hospital every six hours to help manage pain and inflammation. If you are still experiencing pain, please notify your nurse. It is vital that you start an over-the-counter stool softener like Colace once you get home. If you have not had a bowel movement within three to five days of surgery, you need to take a dose of milk of magnesia. Do not wait until your one week appointment to inform your medical team of constipation. In order to continue elective surgeries with unpredictable COVID numbers, Wise Health System has taken steps to accommodate their patients by creating a shared recovery area for those needing to meet medical criteria to qualify for discharge. Per your surgeon's instructions and preoperative education, you will be taken from surgery recovery to a holding room where you will focus on meeting your walking and drinking goals. During this time, the nursing staff will be monitoring for tolerance to fluid intake, your blood pressure, and your heart rate. Once the nurse practitioner or physician's assistant deems all discharge criteria has been met, the nurse will provide your discharge instructions. Some patients may be required to stay overnight due to insurance requirements or out of medical necessity based on health history. It is vital that you stop and walk every 30 to 60 minutes if you are traveling the next day. Also, please continue wearing your compression socks to help prevent blood clots. SCDs are placed on your legs during your hospital stay to aid with circulation. You will be instructed to walk a minimum of 20 laps around the recovery unit prior to discharge. Keep in mind that you are at a risk for a blood clot or DVT for up to 30 days after surgery. It is critical that you do not go home and lay down or sit for too long. Get up every hour and walk, walk, walk. A provider will go over all of this in more detail at the pre-op appointment. You will receive an incentive spirometer to help protect your lungs from pneumonia and other complications from surgery. It will also help push out excess gas and help reduce gas pain. Plan to use this hourly as directed by the respiratory therapist. You will take this with you once you discharge from the hospital and use it at home as directed. Dermabond is the material to seal your incisions. All that is required is that you clean the incision area with warm soapy water, pat dry, and shower versus tub bathe for the first 30 days. The glue will wear off as you shower. Some itching is normal, but it is very important not to apply topical medications such as scar creams or neosporin, which can cause infection. If itching becomes excessive or you have a reaction to the glue, please call the clinic so that we may assist you. Details regarding blood pressure and diabetes medications will be covered by a provider at your pre-op clinic appointment. Please make sure to have a blood pressure cuff and glucometer at home to monitor your vitals daily. For diabetes medication instructions, please consult with your primary care or managing physician prior to your surgery. You may also refer to our diabetes management protocol in your patient education handbook, but it is still highly recommended to discuss medication management with your doctor. Post-op restrictions include no driving if you're still taking prescription pain medication. Once you're off pain meds for at least 24 hours, you may drive. No lifting more than 25 pounds for the first 30 days. If you do not have any post-op pain but are sore, it is okay to take Tylenol as directed on the packaging. If you have any questions on exercise after surgery, please feel free to call the clinic to speak with our exercise specialist. Anticipate receiving an email from your registered dietitian on the post-op diet instructions. Hydration is critical after surgery to help prevent dehydration, blood clots, and urinary tract infections. 
At first, you will aim for one ounce of fluid every 15 minutes. Your first week after surgery consists of clear liquids and clear protein drinks. Week two is full liquids, where you will add protein shakes and other low-calorie milk-based liquids. You will also begin taking your bariatric vitamins at this time. You may be instructed to complete an extra week of full liquids based on medical history or other factors to aid with proper healing after surgery. After full liquids, you will move to soft foods for two weeks, where portion sizes are approximately one to two ounces or three small bites. Signs of overeating include runny nose, hiccups, sneezing, left side abdominal pain, pressure behind the breastbone, nausea and or vomiting. If you experience any of these symptoms, you must slow down at meals. Your staple line or anastomosis site is not fully healed until approximately six weeks post-op. If you were to develop a leak, it could take up to six months to heal. Your regular texture diet begins at week five or six, depending on your diet progression after surgery. After surgery, you will need to monitor for signs and symptoms of a potential complication. The most prominent indicators include unrelenting belly pain and elevated heart rate. Elevated heart rate can indicate dehydration or early signs of a post-op leak. Please be aware of how to check and monitor your heart rate. Belly pain on the left side of the abdomen that does not go away with rest, pain medication, walking, or changing positions needs to be reported to the surgeon. Stomach pain is different from incisional pain. Incisional issues are rare as long as you do not lift anything heavy or put topical creams on your incisions. The mobile unit travels to Waco and Abilene for follow-up care and lap band adjustments. If you live near these areas versus DFW, you can schedule your post-op appointments with a mobile unit's nurse practitioner. Our website has many resources for our patients, including the online store for purchasing vitamins, bariatric-friendly recipes, referral programs, and more. If there was anything not addressed in this presentation that you may have questions about, you will have the opportunity to ask one of our providers, registered dietitians, or exercise specialists during your pre-op appointment. You may also call the clinic at any time. Please take the time to complete the post-test as evidence of understanding the content in this presentation. If you are unable to complete this presentation or the post-test, you will be required to complete it in office prior to your pre-op appointment. Thank you for choosing My Bariatric Solutions.